Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. 2021 tax filing season begins February 12th. IRS outlines steps to speed refunds during pandemic. IR 2021-16, January 15, 2021, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service announced that the nation's tax season will start on Friday, February 12, 2021. Woohoo! When the tax agency will begin accepting and processing 2020 tax year returns. The February 12th start date for individual tax return filers allows the IRS time to to do additional programming and testing of IRS systems following the December 27th tax law changes that provided a second round of economic impact payments and other benefits. So obviously they had some kind of last minute adjustments, including the economic impact payment, which went out and it's kind of tied to the 2020 tax return. So they had to do some last minute updating uh, for that. So this programming work is critical to ensuring IRS systems run smoothly. If filing season were opened without the correct programming in place, then there could be a delay in issuing refunds to taxpayers. So they're trying to tell us, hey, look, <laughs> we have to fix this last minute thing because uh, if we start without it, then it's going to cause more problems than uh, otherwise, which is probably which is probably true. There were some last minute changes there. But in any case, so these changes ensure that eligible people will receive any remaining stimulus money as a recovery rebate credit when they file their 2020 tax return. To speed refunds during the pandemic, the IRS urges taxpayers to file electronically with direct deposit as soon as they have the information they need. So obviously, if you want to get your refund as fast as possible, they want you to file, do the electronic filing. If you're, if you're trying to get the refund fast, you don't really want to do the paper filing because they're really kind of backed up on the paper filing. They've been pushing to, to get people on the electronic filing for a long time. But now with the pandemic, they're actually more backed up because of the social distancing and whatnot uh, rules that they're, they're trying to put in place. So if you're getting the refund, you probably want to electronically file. You might be able to use the free file software on the IRS website if you qualify for that. And if you want to get the payment as soon as possible, then you want to get the uh, direct deposit type of information so they can put it directly into the account. Of course, if you owe them money, then you might not be quite as concerned with, with getting it processed as fast as possible. You're basically trying to avoid penalties at that point in time. So you might wait it out, you know, a little bit and then and then you know, print the old return, you know, fill it out with the old paper and then uh, and then send it in. It'll take forever to process, you know, whatever. But no, no. But if you want the refund quick and you're looking, especially if you're looking for the economic impact payment and whatnot, then you want to do the electronic filing and you want to pros- possibly get the uh, direct deposit uh, type of information. And that should be the fastest way to go. So. People can begin filing their tax returns immediately with the tax software companies, including IRS free file partners. These groups are starting to accept tax returns now, and the returns will be transmitted to the IRS starting February 12th. Quote, planning for the nation's filing season process is a massive undertaking, and IRS teams have been working nonstop to prepare for this, as well as delivering economic impact payments in record time. End quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, given the pandemic, this is one of the nation's most important filing seasons ever. The start date will ensure that people get their needed tax refunds quickly, while also making sure they receive any remaining stimulus payments they are eligible for as quickly as possible. End quote. Last year's average tax refund was more than $2,500, more than $150 million. Uh, Tax returns are expected to be filed this year with the vast majority before the Thursday, April 15th deadline. Under the PATH Act, the IRS cannot issue a refund involving the Earned Income Tax Credit, the EITC, or Additional Child Tax Credit, the ACTC, before mid-February. So these two credits, for some reason, and I, I think the reason is because they're refundable type of tax credits and also the, or the earned income tax credit is kind of complex and depend, has a lot of factors that are going to be involved in it. And it has that refundable component. Therefore, it's going to be higher or much more highly subject to fraud, possibly, because you might be able to get money even if there's no tax liability for it. So those two credits, although very important to many people, uh, are, are often things that are going to delay the process to uh, mid-February. 
So the law provides this additional time to help the IRS stop fraudulent returns and claims from being issued, including, uh, including to identity thieves. The IRS anticipates a first week of March refund for many EITC and ACTC taxpayers if they file electronically with direct deposit and there are no issues with their tax returns. This would be the same experience for, for taxpayers if the filing season opened in late January. Taxpayers will need to check where's my refund. There's a where's my refund type tool that you can find on the IRS website to, to see the process or tracking or timing of the refund. So they can check the where's my refund tool for the personalized refund date. Overall, the IRS anticipates 9 out of 10 taxpayers will receive their refund within 21 days of when they file electronically with direct deposit if there are no issues with their tax return. So they're averaging, they're saying 21 days. Obviously, if there's any issue, which, you know, you can't really count out an issue happening. An issue can happen even if you filed it perfectly. So you can't totally depend on that average. And just remember, if, if you're talking an average, you're talking an average. That, that's the one in the middle. That means there could be outliers <laughs> that, are, that are outside of, of that average. I wouldn't totally depend on the, on the, on the refund coming in in that time frame. Uh, but you can kind of see that as a, an approximate uh, time frame as well. So in any case, the IRS urges taxpayers and tax professionals to file electronically to avoid delays in processing. People should avoid filing paper returns whenever possible. Tips for, for taxpayers to make filing easier. To speed refund and help with their tax filing, the IRS urges people to follow these simple steps. File electronically and use direct deposit for the quickest refund. So you want to use tax software, most likely. You could find free tax software on the IRS website that can give you links to possible um, sources of free filing software uh, if you're applicable or if you're eligible for them. Check irs.gov for the latest tax information, including the latest economic impact payments. There's no need to call. <laughs> so They're trying to say it's all on the website. Don't call us. Please, please don't call us. Uh, but their phone lines are, are somewhat uh, somewhat held up so that you should be able to find everything related to the economic impact payments on uh, the website, they're saying. For those who may be eligible for stimulus payments, they should, should carefully review the guidelines for the recovery rebate credit. Most people receive economic impact payment automatically, and anyone who received the maximum amount does not need to include any information about their payments when they file. So if you got the economic impact payment and it was right, it was correct, like it should be for most people, then it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't really cause you any issues. The recovery rebate credit is not really a thing that you need to worry about. It's only if the economic impact payments were incorrect in some way, some shape, some form, that, uh, that you might have the uh, recovery rebate credit that would kind of rectify or compensate or account for the difference, the problem. So however, those who didn't receive a payment or only received a partial payment may be eligible to claim the recovery rebate credit. There's a link to the re recovery rebate credit here. When they file their 2020 tax return, tax preparer software, including IRS free file, will help taxpayers figure the amount. So software, very helpful for figuring things like that out. So remember, advanced stimulus payments received separately are not taxable and they do not reduce the taxpayer's refund when they file in 2021. So the stimulus payments you got, the economic impact payments, you don't have to include them in the income line items on the tax return, which would result possibly in higher taxes. So they're, they're, not, tax, they're not included in tax, they're not taxable income. They're also not part of the payments that have been received. So uh, they, you know, if you got the proper payment, you shouldn't need to do anything basically with the, uh, the taxes. They will give you information, most likely telling you what you got in terms of the economic impact payment so that you can verify that you got the proper amount, and if not, then you can you can get the recovery rebate credit. They're not giving you that information so that you have to include it in income in some way, uh, which means you'd pay taxes on it. So that's different from like unemployment compensation where you do have to include it in income and then in essence pay taxes on it. So key filing season dates. There are several important dates taxpayers should keep in mind for this year's filing season. January 15th, for, uh, IRS free file opens on January 15th. So that's good. You can get access to the free file software if, if applicable there, especially applicable for people that might be filing only for the recovery rebate credit that they didn't receive, in, in which case they don't typically file, uh, then you, you might be able to pick it up uh, with the free file software. So taxpayers can begin filing returns through free file partners. Tax returns will be transmitted to the IRS starting February 12th. 
tax software companies also are accepting tax filing in advance. We have the January 29th deadline to earn income tax credit awareness day to raise awareness of valuable tax credits available to many people, including the option to use prior year income to qualify. And that's interesting because <laughs> the earned income tax credit is a refundable tax credit. It could you know, result in a fairly significant refund even if there's no tax liability. It will depend to some degree on having earned income. And they're basically saying this year, uh, there's an option to use prior year income to qualify, which is huge because you know that the, the earned income basically, you could see it as a, if you were to graph it, it would start, it would start low and then it would, it would increase actually as your income goes up, which is kind of funny. The credit would basically go up as your income goes up. It also depends on your, your dependents and children qualifying, whatever, and all that stuff. But it goes up as your income goes up, and then it levels off somewhere and starts to go back down. So if you had no earned income, then your, your credit could actually be lesser than it would if you had some earned income. And if you could pick up earned income in the prior year to help you qualify for the earned income, it could actually increase the, the credit amount. So uh, something to keep in mind. So February 12th, IRS begins 2021 tax season. Individual tax returns begin being accepted and processing uh, begins. February 22nd, projected date for the IRS.gov where my refund tool being updated for those claiming the EITC and ACTC. Well, that's going to be the, the uh, earned income tax credit and the additional child tax credit, also referred as to as the PATH Act returns. Then we have the first week in March. That's the tax refunds begin reaching those claiming the EITC and ACTC PATH Act returns for those who file electronically with direct deposit and the, there are no issues with their tax returns. And then April 15th, of course, is the deadline for filing, filing the 2020 tax returns. And then October 15th is the deadline to file for those re requesting an extension on their 2020 tax returns. Filing season opening. The filing season open follows IRS work to update its programming and test its system to factor in the second economic impact payments and other tax law changes. These changes are complex and take time to help ensure proper processing of tax returns and refunds, as well as coordination with tax software industry, resulting in the February 12th start date. The IRS must ensure systems are prepared to properly process and check tax returns to verify the proper amount of the EIP's economic impact payments are credited on taxpayers' accounts and provide remaining refunds to eligible taxpayers. Although the tax season frequently began in late January, uh, there have been five instances since 2007 when filing seasons did not start for some taxpayers until February due to uh, tax law changes made just before the start of the tax time. So they're basically saying we would have liked to, you know, start in the end of January, but we have these big changes that happened really at late in the end of the year. And of course, that pushed out the, the need to process their systems so that they're ready for the tax filing season uh, to start.